So in this example, we're asked to find the Taylor polynomials of order n equals 2 and n equals 3 for the function f of x equals cosine x centered at a equals 0, and then use the remainder term to find a bound on the error in the approximation p3 of x to f of x on the interval from negative pi force to pi force. So first we're being asked to find these Taylor polynomials of order 2 and 3. Three. So I know I'm going to need the um, derivatives up to the third order. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a chart to help me organize the information to answer that question. And I'm looking at this centered at zero here. Okay, so I'm going to need derivatives up to the third order. And I know my zeroth derivative is the original function, so this is just cosine of x. When I plug in zero into cosine of x, cosine of zero is one. My first derivative is negative sine x, sine of zero is zero. When I take my next derivative, the derivative of sine is cosine, so I'm gonna have negative cosine x. Uh, cosine evaluated at zero again is one, so I'm gonna have negative one. Take the derivative again, I have positive sine x, and sine of zero is zero. Okay, so let's write down p2 of x and then p3 of x. So we know that p2 of x is equal to the function at zero plus the first derivative at zero times x minus zero to the first power plus the second derivative at zero times x squared all over two factorial. Okay, so for p2 of x, I'm gonna have one plus, looks like I've got zero times x plus my second derivative is negative one. Um, I have negative one times x squared over two factorial, or p2 of x equals one minus one half x squared. Let me write that as one half x squared over two. Okay, so what about my p3 of x? Well, p3 of x will be equal to this one minus x squared over two, plus the third order term, which would be the third derivative evaluated at zero, which happens to be zero times x cubed over three factorial. So it looks like here, my third order Taylor polynomial is actually equal to the second order Taylor polynomial. Okay. So that's something that, that can happen for, for certain kinds of functions. So now it's saying we want to um, figure out the, the remainder term, um, or use the remainder term to find a bound on the error in approximating our cosine function by this third order Taylor polynomial. So we have that cosine x um, can be approximated by this one minus x squared over two. So if we were to do that approximation in this interval from negative pi force to pi force, how good would that approximation be? Well, since n is equal to three here, I'm gonna need to get a bound on my um, fourth derivative. So notice that my third derivative was sine x. So my fourth derivative um, is equal to cosine x. Okay. My interval of interest here again is this negative pi force to pi force. That's actually an interval um, around my, my center a equals zero. Um, so what can I say about a bound on this fourth derivative um, over that interval? Well, I can say that the absolute value of the fourth derivative, which is equal to the absolute value of cosine x, will definitely be less than or equal to one for all x in this interval here, because the absolute value of cosine x is actually always less than or equal to one. So in, for all x in that interval, in fact, just for all x, um, in general, we would have that particular bound. Okay, so I've got a bound on um, my fourth derivative. So I'm gonna use this number m here, excuse me, this number one as my m. Okay, so I can now say that my r3 of x then um, is less than or equal to my m times x minus a to the m plus one over n factorial using n is equal to three, a is zero and m is one. So I'm gonna have one times x to the fourth power here all over four factorial. So how can I go one step further here when I have this particular interval to get um, a number that will bound that, that um, absolute error? Well, I know that x here is between negative pi force and pi force. Okay, so x to the fourth is gonna be less than or equal to pi force to the fourth. 
x is in that interval. So I can say that my um, error bound here of x to the fourth in absolute value um, over four factorial is less than or equal to pi force to the fourth all over four factorial. Okay, so this is my error bound right here. Using a calculator, I could find that that's approximately 0 0.015854. So that gives me the, the error bound that answers this, this question.